Hello there, I'm Dr. Cal Sellers and I'm going to show you uh, in a few minutes how to pull down your own stomach in the case of a hiatal hernia or in the case of the stomach being uh, under a lot of stress or just the person being under a lot of stress sometimes it'll crawl up or contract it needs to be pulled down and opened up in order to get normal function I'm also going to show you how to massage the sphincter vodi uh, which is a, a sphincter muscle valve that has to open for bile and pancreatic enzymes to flow through uh, into the duodenum which is the beginning of the small intestine uh, the, uh, the sphincter vodi often gets swollen when the stomach gets dysfunctional because the uh, the stomach if under normal circumstances would uh, because of the acidic uh, contents and then the alkaline contents secreted as it leaves the stomach and goes into the duodenum uh, to that that chemical mixture will eventually sort of neutralize but in the beginning it keeps the duodenum relatively sterile uh, if flora gets too high in there which it will if the stomach isn't working well which is very common in our culture of stress and processed food uh, the result will be that uh, the duodenum does not get sterile, the flora climbs up in there and it will cause swelling in the sphincter vodi. Uh, that flora can go into the pancreas and cause pancreatic dysfunction, it can go into the gallbladder uh, and into the bile ducts of the liver and uh, cause dysfunction there. And there are various nutritional approaches uh, to cleaning that out. What I'm going to focus on right now is the massage portion. I'm going to take you through massaging the sphincter vodi um, as well as the gallbladder and the pancreas. Uh, there is more that I teach in my retreats uh, to teach the visceral work, uh, but we're going to just take you through the uh, the basics that I talk to people about all the time when I'm consulting with them. The um, ileocecal valve may also be massaged and uh, with some benefit in many cases uh, when there's a flora imbalance. Sometimes a flora imbalance in the large intestine can be cured by massaging the ileocecal valve uh, to get it working properly again. So um, that that is a matter that is hard to overstate. Uh, whether I can show that on a video like this where I'm sitting in front of you, I, I don't believe I could. So I'm not going to attempt that one. But the if you uh, look it up and learn a little bit about it, it does sit more or less between the navel and the front of the hip where you can feel it, the bony landmark is called the anterior superior iliac spine and um, so if you draw a line between those it's a prominent bony uh, uh, prominence on the, the front of the hip um, if you draw a line it'll be somewhere in there uh, often it falls below that line uh, I find that all the time um, but uh, when you get in there you can get the fingers in and lift and massage uh, with about this frequency that I'm showing you and you can open and close that ileocecal valve and get it working uh, there's a Chinese exercise called wall squatting that's not the Western wall squatting with your arms up and you're standing you know sitting against the wall it's not that it's it's a different activity it does help um, as your your thighs come up and push into your abdomen to open and close the ileocecal valve. So uh, enough about the intro. Let's get down to showing you this stuff. Uh, we're always going to pull the stomach first from the left to the right, uh, from the left shoulder to the right hip, and then from the right shoulder to the left hip. Of course, the stomach's not up at the shoulder; it's down here. And um, we're going to um, show you how that's done. Uh, there are two ways to do it. Uh, I have used my thumbs to hook it and pull it down. Most of the time that's not what I do. Most people's thumbs are not strong enough. Mine are barely strong enough. I have very strong thumbs. Uh, so if you make a fist with your left hand, there's kind of an angle to the fist right here. That it rotates around. Your elbow points away, not off to the side, but actually out in front of you. And your xiphoid process here at the bottom of your sternum and the bottom of your ribs is here. And you're going to get right into that space and push down 
and I'm pushing with my left hand because I'm going from the left shoulder to the right hip and then I'm going to reverse now I, I see people all the time they're kinda working it like that that's not necessarily wrong but it's not necessarily right either uh, what you really want to do is get in there and hold and just keep that pressure there now I'm going in and then down and that's the same on both sides so I would start in and down and then in and down now you may feel the stomach move uh, you may slide in which case you do have to come up and get another bite another hook in again uh, if you don't feel the stomach move maintain the pressure for about 45 seconds all right now let's go on to the next uh, area um, so this is my left side this is my right side if I divide my body in half and come over to the right uh, my sphincter rotis is going to be over about three fingers width from my midline okay I'm gonna start looking for it generally speaking it'll be tender it's quite deep you can't just rub the surface a little and expect to get it it's deep way back on the body on the almost to the spine um, so you get in there and massage it. Mine's in pretty good shape today. It's not actually tender, but it would often be tender. Um, once I've worked the uh, sphincter vodi, then I'm in condition to drain the pancreas. So that's the pancreas sits, the head of it is on the left. This is the part over here that uh, produces insulin. And then there's a tail that comes across and it dumps digestive enzymes into the sphincter vodi. So now I'm going to go fairly deep, but this is uh, the stomach and the sphincter vodi can both hurt a little bit. But as I pull the across my abdomen to drain the pancreas, that should not be painful. It's, I'm putting a fair amount of pressure, but it's not deep hard work. It's just it's just like stripping out a hose, and uh, two or three times is plenty. Finally, the gallbladder. So if my sphincter rodi is here, three fingers widths from the midline, another two fingers widths over, I'll find the gallbladder. Uh, and what I want to do is start down low about the level of the navel, come up until I find the gallbladder, and I want to lift and dump it. Now once again, mine's in pretty good health, uh, but I have worked on it when it was quite painful. Once I have, the gallbladder sits in a little sack, and the tube comes out the top and it comes over and dumps into the sphincter vodi. So I want to lift that gallbladder and empty the contents of the sac and push them toward the midline. Lift and push toward the midline. And that, that contents will come up and out and over into the sphincter vodi. And then I want to massage the sphincter vodi again because if there's any infection in that gallbladder, which is very common, very, very common, that sphincter vodi will swell right back up. Uh, if there's any stones that you've pushed out, which happens occasionally, you're going to want to massage those out of the sphincter vodi first thing and dislodge them. And most of the time you can dislodge them that way. Um, uh, if there's a very large stone, you're not going to push it out of the gallbladder anyway because the, the bile duct has to open quite a lot for that to come out. But if it's a small stone, you could push one out, uh, if, especially if it's a fatty stone. And uh, then you might have to massage that sphincter vodi to get it out of there again. This should be done a couple of times a day on anybody who's having upper digestive difficulties, or anyone I've worked with that I said might need sphincter vodi work. <clears throat> uh, at least once a day, you should lay down on your back and massage this whole area, all the way across both sides, with castor oil. Now the best thing is to massage it with castor oil uh, that has had uh, uh, Dr. Christopher's uh, Professor Cayenne Deep Heat, uh, it's not called Professor Cayenne anymore, it's just Cayenne Deep Heat ointment uh, in it. I have a bottle about this big, I think it's a four ounce bottle, maybe only three, and I will put a tablespoonful or so of the cayenne deep heat ointment in there and fill it the rest of the way with castor oil, and then I'll shake it a few times and um, let it sit. Usually I actually put the castor oil in first because I, I want it to have a chance to mix. I'll shake it a few times. I'll try to keep it. Uh, castor oil doesn't shake very well. It's very viscous. But um, 
I want to keep it kind of dissolving in there and it'll eventually turn into just this red liquid that would be the ideal thing to use that will work more than anything else and they just massage the liver the spleen the pancreas the stomach the sphincter vodi the gallbladder get that whole upper digestion working I've had people get great results just from the castor oil massage alone without doing anything else I've said now, I don't recommend that I think people are in bad shape and they need lots of help um, today and the evidence is growing every single day that that, that opinion is is correct but um, but to get you started to get you doing this that's all you need to do now uh, this video is uh, what about 10 minutes long uh, you're gonna want to do this you're gonna want to watch this several times until you get it you might have somebody else watch it with you and see if they can help troubleshoot uh, make sure you're actually on the correct side um, instead of on the other side trying to do it just try to to um, to figure out what your um, where you are and what you're doing it may help to look at an anatomy book um, uh, I have had uh, people in classes I've been in before draw anatomy on the body uh, I'm certainly not against that so there are some things to think about thank you so much for spending this short time with me I hope that you find it useful uh, as useful as I have in getting that upper digestion going it's a huge component to getting the upper digestion working and often will cure uh, hiatal hernias and uh, bloating with digestion all kinds of things especially if you go on a low inflammation diet which is something I I work with you if you do a consult with me that's what I work with I teach you the low inflammation diet how to do that what supplements to use to heal your body and that sort of thing um, so I hope some of you will come and see me you can find me at star valley herbal college dot com or holistic Cairo dot org and uh, that's what I am professionally as a chiropractor I'm in my chiropractic office today and I do a holistic chiropractic I really work with healing the whole body thank you so much Have a wonderful day